Let's look at processing cash transactions using the cash journal in SAP. The SAP menu path for accessing cash journal is accounting, financial accounting, banks, incomings and cash journal. The short transaction code for this is FBCJ. Let's execute this transaction. Now by default, this is how the screen will look like. It will have the dates here. You can give it a range of dates, how you want to see the display of dates range. It can be for a week. So if you click on this, it will come for a week. You can also do it for a period also. So we'll just enter for one day. And here you can change the company code. So to change the company code, click on Cash Journal. And here enter your company code and we this is our first cash journal so we'll just use this one triple zero one you can always go and select here as well and press this to continue now you have come to your ca company code z123 and the cash journal triple zero one screen so initially we would want to post some money to the cash journal so it's going to be a cash receipt so this will be withdrawn from the bank and given to a, a petty cash holder or someone who will have a small amount of cash in their office safe or uh, somewhere secured area to deal with small amounts of cash transactions. So we'll go to the cash receipt tab over here. Click on business transactions. Press enter your keyboard to continue. So we're going to get some cash receipts from bank. So we are going to get some money from the bank and keep it with the petty cash holder. So let me double click on that and let's say we receive thousand dollars maybe about small amount five hundred dollars from the bank. And you can no need to fill up all these fields but if you want to give it some text you can always go here and fill up something. So I'll say received from ANZ can see the posting that is mentioned here. You can also change the posting date if you want. There are many other fields over there but we don't have to fill up them so we'll just leave them as it is. We're just going to give the text saying received from ANZ and this is the business transaction received from bank. Now click on post. Okay. And you can see the status is in green so it says entry posted in general ledger. Now let's check this transaction in the line items. So let's go to create new session. The short transaction code for to check GL line items is FBL3N. You can also have a look at it in the SAP menu. The path is financial accounting, general ledger, account, FBL3N, display change line items. So here we'll enter our petty cash account 101 triple zero and execute the transaction we'll click on all items okay and you can see there are some amounts being posted so this is a recent posting we did now received from ANZ the five hundred dollars so that's how it gets updated in the Pedicash GL account so now let's do this we have paid some amount to someone who supplied some shortage for a meeting. So let's click on this, start search. So we'll select cash expenses. So we have paid about $100 worth of some catering expense. So you can write over here, catering expense. And save the post the transaction. You can see it has come into green so the transaction has been posted. Similarly you can also check the screen for the line item report. You can go back, execute and you can see the amount has been updated. Now let us imagine a scenario where one of